Good morning, it's time for Tina Book Tuesday with author Lisa Prysock. I'm coming to you from beautiful Kentucky with some more tidbits about a summer at Sagamore. So, foods from the Gilded Age. I find some of those things like uh, just the titles for foods they ate back then and the pricing very interesting. Uh, one of the things that you might find in a summer at Sagamore would be Oysters Rockefeller. And today, I believe it happens to be Oysters Rockefeller Day. Uh, this dish consists of oysters on the half shell. It's topped with like a rich butter sauce parsley and other green herbs, bread crumbs. They bake it or broil it and it's usually served with a lemon wedge. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but you might find it mentioned in a summer at Sagamore. So I'd like to share with you a few tidbits about uh, the character sketches for our hero and heroine in the book. Get out my notes. This is kind of a system that I use when I'm writing. You can see I I tab everything off. Before I get into the characters, I'm already open to this page about my notes on some of the foods. And I actually have pages and pages about this. But some of the foods from like the 1880s to um, even into the 1890s and so on, are just fascinating to me. It would not have changed that much by 1907, which is the year when my novel takes place. I looked up a menu from Delmonico's. Delmonico's, you know, it's where we got the name for the best, one of the best steaks you can buy to this day. And they were known for their steak. On the menu, these prices are gonna crack you up. A cup of coffee five cents back in 1889. A whole pot of coffee for 15 cents. Iced tea by the cup, 10 cents. And iced coffee, 10 cents. Starbuck lovers, eat your heart out. Tea biscuit, five cents. A hot muffin, you could get two for five cents. Oh, this was interesting to me. You could get two veal cutlets for 15 cents. Caviar, Sir Canapes, Amontillado. I know that's French. I'm not sure what it was. It sounds like turtle. Sorbet a la Romaine. Lettuce with ice cream. Teal duck with celery. So I guess you got celery and mayonnaise and duck. Why they called it teal, maybe. That was the color of the feathers of the duck. Pâte de foie gras. Pâté. So, like, raw. A raw patty. Lamb with mint sauce. Fricasseed oysters. I'm probably not going to eat that. Broiled eels. Pickled lamb. Asparagus on toast was a thing. On to character sketches. Miss Abigail Greenwood. She lives at home in Cincinnati. She's age 21. She lives in a beautiful brownstone. She comes from a typical middle-class home. Her father is a preacher. Her younger sister is named Catherine and Elizabeth is their cousin. Jack, the hero in Love's Sherlock Holmes mysteries, but readers have to sleuth this out when they're reading the book. I just wanted to mention those things for you guys. I hope you enjoyed these tidbits. I am loving my food research. <laughs>